Now to the latest on the conflict. Israeli bombardments intensify and the attacks go beyond the borders of Gaza with strikes in Syria and a mosque in the West Bank. More aid heads to those in need while a U.S. delegation goes to Israel. The aftermath of another Israeli target in Gaza. While the Gaza Health Ministry says dozens of Palestinians were killed in the past 24 hours, many of them children, hospitals, though, put the number of deaths at 10. They don't have enough morphine, uh, painkillers, to use for the patients. So what they are doing, they are forced to do operation with, with not the adequate dose of painkiller. To the south. Signs of hope. These are UN-led tankers leaving Gaza after depositing much-needed fuel, which were distributed to schools and hospitals. A second convoy carrying food and water also drove into Gaza, but much more is needed. What is needed is a ceasefire and the, the, the unfettered, unimpeded entry of all humanitarian aid needed. However, a senior Israeli official tells CNN there is no talk of a ceasefire, while negotiations continue for the release of the 200 hostages held by Hamas. As negotiations play out, there is more concern on the safety of U.S. troops in the area. We expect uh, that there's a likelihood of escalation, escalation by Iranian proxies directed against our forces, directed against our personnel. Uh, we are taking steps to make sure that we can effectively defend our people and respond decisively if we need to. Last Thursday, the USS Kearney shot down several missiles and drones from Yemen by Iranian-backed Houthis. The target, according to the Pentagon, is said to have been Israel. Meantime, 10 senators, five Democrats and five Republicans traveled to Saudi Arabia and Israel in a show of support and of force. We're here today to give Israel what they need to do the job of destroying the modern day version of Nazis, Hamas. We're here today to tell Iran we're watching you. And Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said today the U.S. presence in the area continues to focus only on security assistance to Israel.